If you own a Roku device or have a TV with Roku built in, there are thousands of apps they used to call channels that are available from their streaming store to choose from. To separate out the good from the bad, I'll count down the top 25 apps to install on your Roku device or TV using the Roku streaming platform, some of which are actually free. Of course, let us know your favorites in the comments. Let's dive in. With 25 to get through, we'll go through each of these quickly. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 25 is Shout TV. On here you can watch cult status B-movies, both new and old, and has a good selection of old TV shows, some of which have been remastered in HD, including classic episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Shout TV is free with ads. They now have memberships to get rid of the ads that start at $3.99 per month. Up next, Coming in at number 24 is the completely free ad-supported Film Rise, offering 10,000 hours of movies and TV shows with no login needed to watch. You won't find a lot on here that is new, but you're sure to find hidden gems to make it worthwhile. A couple shows on here worth watching include Hannibal and the sci-fi series Continuum. Coming in at number 23 is iHeart, formerly known as iHeart Radio. This is the first of three music apps in this countdown iHeart is a free radio service featuring more than 1,500 AM and FM radio stations across the United States. You can create custom stations that play songs based on the artist you select, and they also have podcasts they own, some of which are quite popular. One I recommend is the Stuff You Should Know podcast. iHeart does have premium plans that start at $4.99 per month. Quite honestly, for me, using it for free has never been an issue. In at number 22 is FitOn. If you're a fitness enthusiast, this free workout app is one you should check out. It offers a wide range of workouts, including strength training, yoga, Pilates, and many others. In addition to the numerous workouts from world-class trainers, FitOn also offers exclusive workouts from celebrities like Halle Berry, Gabrielle Union, and Julianne Huff. You'll also find various guides in their app that can be quite useful. Up next, coming in at number 21, is the Roku Channel. This app, created by Roku, features hundreds of movies, TV shows, and live TV, all for free, and with fewer commercials than you'd see on broadcast TV. It also lets you subscribe to and watch content in their app from premium services, including Paramount+, Plus, Stars, Max, AMC+, Plus, and many others. The Roku Channel also features original TV shows and films from Roku you won't find elsewhere, including their Emmy Award winner, Weird, The Al Yankovic Story. In at number 20 is PBS. The Public Broadcasting Service is an American broadcaster that you can get here in the States over the air for free. The Roku app is also free and has no ads. There's a ton of content on this app, including highly rated British imports and PBS favorites like Nature, Austin City Limits, and Frontline. PBS also has an app on Roku for the little ones called PBS Kids, which is also free. Coming in at number 19, the second of three music services in this countdown is Pandora. It's been around since 2000, so you've likely used it at some point. This free music service lets you create your own stations based on artists, songs, or genres. I primarily use this as background music to fit a certain mood. In addition to the free plan, Pandora lets you listen ad-free, and it also lets you skip and replay songs with plans that start at $4.99 per month. This is another one I've never paid for. The free plan is suitable for my needs. Taking the number 18 spot, the best weather app on Roku right now is Fox Weather. There's no politics on here, just weather coverage. In addition to watching their live 24-7 coverage, which is really good, the app also offers weather news, trending videos, local forecasts, and a whole lot more. Coming in at number 17 is Tubi. Of all the free ad-supported apps on Roku that play movies and TV shows, this is one of the best. They now have a library of over 50,000 titles, which far exceeds Netflix, which has, on average, around 7,000. Just like some of the others mentioned, it doesn't have the latest blockbusters, but you're sure to find something to watch on Tubi for free. For fans of Gene Hackman, who just passed prior to making this video, there's a good collection of his films on here right now to watch. Coming in at number 16 is Fandango at Home, formerly known as Voodoo. 
The service offers recent movies to buy or rent in resolutions up to 4K. Usually new titles release on here around a month or two after being released in theaters. For example, the hit film Wicked is now on here, but honestly, you couldn't pay me to watch that. Their free ad-supported section is not too bad, with thousands of TV shows and movies to watch. Coming in at number 15, Curiosity Stream is one of the more underrated subscription streaming services. On their app, you'll find on-demand documentaries and non-fiction programs on a wide variety of topics, including technology, chemistry, geology, nature, astrophysics, and many others. Plans on Curiosity Stream start at around $5 per month or $40 per year. Hulu at number 14 is a popular streaming service to watch TV shows. You'll find shows on here from the likes of ABC, the FX network, and they have original programs on here as well. Some of the more popular shows on here include The Bear, Only Murders in the Building, Handmaid's Tale, and Shogun. Plans on Hulu now start at around $10 per month with ads, and without ads, it's a whopping $19 per month. Doing their bundles is a better deal. Coming in at number 13 from Disney is their Disney Plus streaming service. By the way, Disney now owns Hulu, who I just mentioned. You'll find an extensive catalog of films and TV shows on here from Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, and Disney itself. If you subscribe to Hulu or ESPN Plus, those can also be watched in the Disney Plus app. Disney Plus isn't just for kids. The three Beatles documentaries and Paul McCartney documentary are fantastic. Disney Plus Basic on its own with ads is around $10. For a dollar more, for around $11 bundled with Hulu is a superior value. Coming in at number 12 is Plex. We really don't like it for the free movies and TV shows. What makes this app great is getting easy access to all of your personal media. As I've talked about in our free software series, when you have Plex installed on your PC, it acts like a media server. Installing Plex on Roku or any other device with the Plex app lets you play your content directly from your media server, including music, movies, TV shows, or any other audio or video. Plex is free. If you want extra features, like being able to record over the air TV, syncing your media for offline use, and parental controls, they offer Plex Pass with plans starting at $4.99 per month. But for many of you, the free version will be all that you need. In at number 12, the streaming service Peacock has an app they call Peacock TV. This app is one of the more affordable streaming services. In addition to content from NBC Universal, it has original shows and hosts sporting events, including Sunday Night Football, WWE, NASCAR, Premier League, and the Olympics. Pricing for Peacock is around $8 per month with ads, and for around $14 per month, it's ad-free with limited exclusions. Now for our top 10, and coming in at number 10 is Max. This is what used to be the HBO app, then it was HBO Max, and now it's Max. You'll find films and shows on here from HBO, Discovery Networks, and original content. There's an extensive back catalog of shows like The Sopranos and Game of Thrones, along with newer shows like Succession, The Last of Us, and White Lotus. Max is one of the more expensive services. On its own, it's $15.99 per month, the no-brainer is getting it bundled with Hulu and Disney Plus for $16.99 per month. Coming in at number 9, AMC Plus is another highly underrated streaming app. With it, you get thousands of hours of shows and movies from AMC itself, Shudder, BBC America, Sundance Now, and IFC Films Unlimited. Notable shows include Dark Winds, Gangs of London, and every series in the Walking Dead universe. AMC Plus is one of the better values in streaming with plans that start at around $7 per month. Coming in at number eight is the app for Apple TV Plus, simply called Apple TV. It's one of the best. Notable shows include Silo, Bad Monkey, Slow Horses, Ted Lasso, and Severance. You can get Apple TV Plus free for three months when you buy an Apple device. Otherwise, it's around $10 per month after a seven day free trial. Coming in at number seven is Paramount Plus. It includes shows and movies from CBS, Comedy Central, the Paramount Network, MTV, Nickelodeon, and many others. Notable shows include Evil, Tulsa King, and Landman was highly entertaining. For fans of Star Trek, all series created in the Star Trek universe are on here. 
Their basic plan called Paramount Plus Essential with ads is $7.99 per month. This will include a select number of shows from Showtime. If you want all of Showtime with no ads, except for live TV, Paramount Plus with Showtime is $12.99 per month. Both plans have a one week free trial. Coming in at number six, the best of the music services on Roku is Spotify. Their app called Spotify Music gives you access to millions of tracks. In addition to listening to music, podcasts are becoming a popular thing on their service. Most of the popular ones are here. You can use Spotify for free, but you'll have to deal with ads, can't play songs in order, and can't download them to listen offline. Some of their plans have a one month free trial. Plans range from around $6 per month up to around $20 per month. Coming in at number five, Pluto TV offers more than 100 channels of news, sports, and other programming. It has a grid layout very similar to most cable and satellite services with programming in just about any category you can think of. Best of all, Pluto TV is completely free. Coming in at number four is Prime Video from Amazon. If you pay for Amazon Prime, which is now $139 per year, Prime Video is included, but it now has ads. To get rid of the ads, it'll now cost you an extra three bucks per month. This app gets you access to thousands of movies and TV shows. Popular shows on the service right now include Fallout, The Boys, Reacher, and Love Hurts. In at number three is YouTube TV. I've tested numerous services offering an experience similar to cable, Fubo, Hulu's live TV offering, DirecTV, Philo, Sling TV, and others. YouTube TV is far superior to those. With more than 100 channels, just about any channel you can think of is on here. Their multi-view is awesome for watching sports, and it's now the home for NFL Sunday Ticket. YouTube TV often runs promotional deals. The normal price just went up again. It's now around $83 per month. It's a lot, but still cheaper than cable. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is YouTube. You all know what this is, so let's move things along. YouTube is ad-supported. To eliminate the ads and get other features, YouTube Premium is $13.99 per month. In the top spot, coming in at number one, it should be no surprise that Netflix is the number one app on Roku. Even though their overall quality of TV shows, movies, and documentaries has gone down over the last few years, they do still have a ton of watchable content. Instead of giving you recommendations, we have other videos for that. I'll just tell you about two shows that should be avoided like the plague. The first one is With Love, Megan. The other one is the cringeworthy Harry and Meghan. Netflix has had massive price hikes over the past few years. We were on the ad-free premium plan, which is around $25 per month, which is insane. We're now on the standard with ads plan, which is more reasonable at $7.99 per month, and the ad breaks are not too bad for now. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments if there's an app or channel you feel should have made this list. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss out on the latest in streaming and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.